Hey, what's going on guys? Brandon here and welcome back to a brand new episode of Bears Franchise. And it's been a couple of days, maybe three or four. I don't even know how many days it's been since I've uploaded. Uh, I've been moving. And as you guys can tell by my background, we've moved. Uh, it's a different room uh and we you can still see some boxes i'm gonna i think i'm making this full screen and editing but uh yeah we've got some boxes uh to the side and and all that but if you guys want to see the want to see the background it's a work in progress but uh yeah we're we're working on it so um yeah the move has been crazy it's uh, it's a lot of work it's a lot of work i i you know i need a break i need a break so today we are recording and we are getting into a week number four here in Bears franchise. Hope you guys have enjoyed this series. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Also, let me know in the comments below how the setup sounds or how the video sounds and looks and everything. I just want to make sure that everything is, you know, good to go and whatnot. Um, but it is a little echoey in here. So I'm, I think I'm going to have to buy some soundproof i mean if you guys can't tell then i'm not gonna worry about it so let me know in the comments below but yeah uh unfortunately everything in this house is hardwood so we do have a rug but the rug isn't very soundproofy it's pretty like it's pretty small um and or like thin and then on the walls we don't have anything up yet so i don't know i might have to buy some soundproofing uh to kind of put around like maybe on on like this wall here and uh in front of me's windows so it, i don't know it, it's kind of it's kind of difficult um but we're figuring it out let me know in the comments below how it sounds and how everything looks but we should be all good to go so it's been a while uh we beat the lions 38 31 it was a close closer game i believe landon flynn went off um our defense kind of struggled and our offense i think was good like usual but Let's go ahead and look at our numbers on the season. I, look, it's been a long time since I've recorded, so let's get back into this thing. Uh, points per game. We're first averaging 46 points per game. Okay, that's pretty high. Uh, offensive uh, passing yards per game, we are fourth. Rushing yards, we are fourth. Uh, defensive points per game, we are a second, just, average, just giving up 14 points per game. Let me put my phone on mute. Uh, defensive passing yards, we are first. And defensive rushing yards, we are fourth. And you guys can see the Rams numbers there on the side. Not that great of an offense. Solid defense. I'm sure they have uh, Jalen Ramsey still, Aaron Donald. Uh, offensively, passing touchdowns were first. Rushing touchdowns, we are 13th. Giveaways, we have given up the ball four times already this year, which is 31st in the league. Third down percentage, we are incredible at 75%. Now, obviously, these numbers will even out. Uh, I'm not going to adjust the uh, sliders just yet because the detroit game was interesting so i want to give it a few weeks because i don't want to adjust it and all of a sudden like it's like way too difficult or or even easier like kind of want to wait to see where we are at uh, maybe in a few weeks uh but defensively we're second in in yards um just total touchdowns allowed we are first only allowing three touchdowns this season three touchdowns in three games and that was all from what last week maybe week one and week and last week i don't know uh sacks we are a third with 12 takeaways we are third with five and red zone percentage we are second at 42 percent let's look at um nope not x factor that database let's look at uh our individual numbers here uh justin fields obviously first in passing 972 yards 13 touchdowns just three interceptions uh, and then rushing wise, Montgomery at 205 yards rushing, one touchdown. Fields 178 for three touchdowns. That's pretty good. Receiving wise, Darnell Mooney has been money. I, he has he is having an incredible start to the year. 33 catches, 401 yards, and six touchdowns. Ben Stanford, good start to the year as well. 16 catches, 220 yards, and three touchdowns. Terry Anikut, the surprise of the year, only has four catches for 84 yards. Two of those have gone for touchdowns, but he hasn't really been part of the offense. Now, obviously, I believe he missed last week against Detroit. Not sure how long he's going to be out. I think he might already be back. We'll see, but definitely want to get our best player 
Uh, I think he is now our best player offensively. I mean, it's Justin Fields technically is, but best weapon, we need to get him involved. Defensively, Roquan Smith, 24 tackles already on the year, five tackles for loss. Rashawn Gary has six. Uh, Griffey has five. Chris Green has five. Bishop has four. Sacks wise, Rashawn Gary again off to a, a great start. He ended the year really well last season. And he has started the year really well this year. Four and a half sacks. Chris Green with three and a half. Two for Bishop. One for Griffey. One for Clark. Interceptions. Kayla Farley with three. And that's it. Um, two pass deflections as well for him. Earl Dubois has one pass deflection. Forced fumbles. We we have forced a lot. And I've already adjusted the sliders a lot. We might have to up that again. Griffey, Roquan, Simmons, Gordon, and Alfonso Curry, the rookie, have all forced fumbles no safeties and uh two defensive touchdowns Caleb Farley and Adrian Bonds the other rookie safety so there's our numbers so far this season again a refresher for me and some of you guys maybe if you guys are alert you know if it's been a while since you guys have watched the last episode so let's get into press conference quarterback one check-in Coach, your team has played really well in the early part of the season and is off to a hot start. How much of that is because of Justin Fields? Um, I mean, it is a, a team mentality, but let's praise Justin Fields. He is, Justin Fields has been incredible this year. Now he has thrown three picks, but he's been ultra accurate. He's been using his legs. He's been really good. Beat the Rams and have 300 plus passing yards with Justin Fields. He's on pace to having a record-breaking year. And that's, I mean, honestly, that's pretty awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and look at negotiations here. So we have re-signed Caleb Farley. I saw one of you guys say we might have to franchise tag Justin Fields. We'll see. Uh, I don't remember what he wanted upped. Let's um up to 27 mil and 22 million signing bonus see if he takes this we are running out of money real quick but we have re-signed our superstar x factor mvp and super bowl mvp justin fields to a seven year deal worth 176 million well total worth 324 million dollars Yeesh. Justin Fields at this point is probably the highest paid quarterback in the NFL and deservedly so. One MVP a year ago, offense player of the year, Super Bowl MVP, off to a phenomenal start this season. He's really good. He's really good. Let's get into some scouting though. And I'm really not sure what we want to do here with scouting. And who we want to look at. I don't know. Do we have a first round pick this year? We do. We have our own picks. Looks like. Actually, we don't have our own second and third. Or fourth. I don't know. It's kind of a mixture. But we do have our own first round pick. So we'll be drafting at the end of the round. If if we do another year. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this series. Um, we'll see. But we're going to have to open up some money. I mean, who... Who's going to be due for a new contract? I think, let's see, Charles Gordon might be coming up, Honeycutt, like those type of guys. So we're definitely going to have to look at maybe corner. Uh, Dorian Higgins looks decent. Uh, Carlton, decent value, I guess. Uh, Julius Gordon, another younger brother of Charles and Zach Gordon. Uh, so he's available. Rudy Fletcher. Uh, a lot of first round guys in the second round. Devon Byram. This corner class looks actually really, really good. Um, no one like super special, but Julius Gordon at six foot three, the younger brother of Zach Gordon and uh, Charles Gordon, could be could be a guy that we look at. We'll see. But it'll be interesting to see what we want to do and, and where we want to go with this franchise, with this team. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Let me know in the comments below what you guys maybe want to see. But 
Uh, Matthew Stafford still the quarterback, just at 76 overall now. They have Tommy Ball, a running back, uh, who's at 72 overall. Hmm. Okay. Let's um, I guess defend the the deep pass. Don't want to get torched over the top, uh, and then let's do blitz counter prevent Aaron Donald from killing us probably and then we just got to watch out for Jalen Ramsey today for our goals this week I think 350 yards um let's maybe sack the quarterback three times pass for 275 and let's try to win the turnover battle and hopefully we don't have any injuries I believe we are getting Terry Honeycutt back I want to say we are um, but we'll see. I'll, I'll look at the injury report again. It's been a while since I've recorded So I, I'm not really sure who's in and who's out. Uh, I think we're gonna get some upgrades here though. Yeah, got some upgrades Javier Griffey let's uh Let's give Griffey. I want to get his pass rushing up. So let's do power moves He's playing up to a 91 overall right now plus two power moves as well plus one tackle Cole Komet I guess it doesn't really matter what we give Cole Komet, but let's do possession. Gets a bunch of upgrades. Is playing up to an 85 overall. And Chris Green. Hmm. 89 speed. Crazy. 91 finesse. 84 power. Block shedding is only a 70. Let's do power rush. Try to get his power moves as close to 90 as we can. Plus two power moves. That's awesome. 91 finesse 86 power moves he's out though for three weeks oh man i forgot about that yeah he he has a torn labrum shoot honeycut is back so let's let's look at our injury report real really quick chris green is the only guy out right now torn labrum okay so let's take a look at the depth chart and see who's right behind him ah oh, man i i think this is a, a point where we give it to maybe we move to marcus bishop outside Right now, J.J. Watt is starting at left end. Eddie Clark starting at right end. Um, everything's a little messed up right now. Let's get Patton in there, maybe. Uh, defensive tackle, Griffey, Watt, and Patton. Outside linebacker right now is a Noah Dawkins. Um, okay. We're, what we're going to do is we're going to bring Bishop on the outside. And he's gonna play at left outside linebacker. Uh, I think he has a he has a decent, I mean, 78 speed. It's not great. Uh, Eddie Clark has 83 speed. Actually, you know what? It'd be better to move Eddie Clark there. It would 100% be better to move Eddie Clark there. So JJ Watt's gonna start at left end, and we're gonna start Bishop at right end, and then we're going to uh, or uh yeah and then we are going to bring in eddie clark to be our starting left outside linebacker he just has better speed than than bishop roquan isaiah shepherd applewhite in the middle rashawn gary on the outside there and then corners look good and we got duvall and alfonso curry so yeah we should all be all good to go our rush to left end. We're going to make this Eddie Clark. Um, maybe do something like this. And then Rashawn Gary. Uh, actually, no. Let's have Bishop be the backup. And rush DT. We're going to have Griffey. I think Griffey is just overall. I think, I think he's better, especially if they run the ball. In a, in a position where we're, we're going pass rush. Uh, and then sub linebacker. I mean, Roquan Smith is just so good. I think we have to have him there. Charles Gordon is our slot. I think he's perfect at slot. So yeah, we are all good to go. We should be all good to go. Let's play this game against the Rams and see if we can go four and O. Oh. So here we go at home against the Los Angeles Rams. Matthew Stafford still the quarterback in LA 612 yards on the year six touchdowns to two interceptions not terrible but not like great 
Uh, obviously at just like a, what, 76 overall now. And looks like they still have Cam Akers. It's a good team. They have Odell Beckham still. They have a lot of weapons. And there's a flag here on the first play of the game. And it's going to be holding on the offense. So let's go ahead and accept that. Make that first and 20. And hopefully they have a, a second and shorter than or and longer than 11 to make that kind of worth it. And Stafford will throw that one inaccurate out of bounds. Second and 20 now for the LA Rams. Cam Akers in the backfield with Matthew Stafford. Looks like they still have Robert Woods. I'm going to blitz with Isaiah Sims. Oh, I thought I could get there. He's going to check down. And that is caught. Not sure who that is. Oh, it's Atwell. Tutu Atwell is uh, a receiver here in L.A. Along with, looks like Odell is still here. Robert Woods, I believe, is still here. Cam Akers as well. And Stafford going deep to Atwell. And that is dropped. Matthew Duvall is there to break that one up. Matthew Duvall, superstar at safety. Really has become an unbelievable player. And it looks like there's some wind. That was shanked. And it's down to the 35-yard line. So Justin Fields, who's on pace to breaking a ton of records this year. 972 passing yards, 13 touchdowns to three interceptions. He is off to a great start. Terry Honeycutt is back. He's off to a very slow start. Darnell Mooney, first in receptions, first in yards, and first in touchdowns. And he gets the touch pass there, and it's just a gain of two. But Darnell Mooney is off to a phenomenal start this season. Let's go play action. And I wanted to... Let's go to Mooney. That's a tight window, and that's going to be incomplete. I wanted to throw that back a little bit. But it didn't really go where I wanted it to, unfortunately. That was a very dangerous throw. Third and eight. Looks like they're going to blitz here. I'm going to get outside. We have Honeycutt. And it's going to be inaccurate. And both offenses go three and out to start this game. It's a great punt that puts the Rams back at their own five-yard line. Stafford will... Choose to throw it here, and it's a nice tackle by Roquan Smith completed. And that's uh, Ferkser, the tight end for the Rams. And Cam Akers goes absolutely nowhere. Eddie Clark is there to wrap up Cam Akers, and it's going to be a third and nine. Stafford in. The shotgun with Akers. They're going to hand it off. And Akers goes nowhere. J.J. Watt, Rashawn Gary, both there to get the stop. And the Rams go three and out. So just like that, we have the ball at the 28-yard line. Uh, Torrey Woody with a decent return. And obviously not a very good punt. And I'm going to escape with fields here. And we're just going to slide down. Or at least try to slide down. <laughs> he didn't. It's a gain of seven yards. Second and three. Let's give... Actually, you know what? Sometimes I like to take a shot here. It looks like Jalen Ramsey is on Terry Honeycutt. Might be another day where uh, we don't throw it too much to Terry Honeycutt. But Tracy Hurst has it across the middle and down to the one-yard line. Tracy Hurst was wide, wide open. And now first and a goal. We're going to give it to David Montgomery. And David Montgomery into the end zone. His second touchdown on the year. And we take a 6-0 lead. Third and four here for Stafford and the Rams. With just over five minutes to go here in the first quarter. And Stafford will throw it deep. Greedy Williams in coverage, and that is a knocked away intended for, I believe that was Robert Woods. And the Rams will once again go three and out. Our defense playing great. The wind really affecting Johnson here, punting the ball. This is actually probably his best punt of the day. 
And Torrey Wood, he fumbles the ball! And the Rams recover! Oh, no! Wagner recovers it and takes it into the end zone. And just like that, this game is going to be all tied up. Tory Woody, our dynamic returner, has never fumbled. But he fumbles in this one. And it's all tied up at 7. Second and 11, a run to uh, Herbert. Didn't really go anywhere. And we're going to take off with Justin Fields again. Really taking advantage of his running ability to start this season. And that's going to be a first down to the 43-yard line. Let's go ahead and hand this ball off to David Montgomery. Try to get our run game going. And Montgomery breaks the tackle and gets down to the 48-yard line. Looks like Ray is hurt for the Rams. I'm going to have Honeycutt running out. Second and four. Uh, he's open. We're going to get it to him. And Terry Honeycutt has the first down. There is the contract extension for Justin Fields. Seven years worth right around $350 million in total. A huge, huge contract for Justin Fields. First and 10. And go play action. I want to try and get it to Darnell Mooney here. No, he's well covered. Fields will run. And Fields gets brought down by Aaron Donald, but it will be enough for a first down. Justin Fields taking advantage of the open space there. We'll hand it off to Montgomery, and Montgomery goes nowhere once again. Three carries, just seven yards for David Montgomery. Herbert, one carry for negative one. Second and ten. And Tracy Hurst is open again. It's a gain of about nine. And now will be third and one. Tracy Hurst off to a good start this year. Justin Fields looks like he's in the zone. Third and one. And this will be thrown low to Ben Stanford. Nice throw and catch by Fields and Stanford there. Looks like they're going to bring the safety down. Honeycutt in the slot here. Might be the look, and he is wide open. Down to the one yard line. They didn't call that a touchdown. He was wide open. So now first and goal from the one yard line once again. We'll hand it off to Montgomery and David Montgomery into the end zone once again. His second rushing touchdown here today, and we'll have a 14-7 lead. Down it goes Matthew Stafford. It's Demarcus Bishop starting at defensive end to replace Clark, who is replacing Chris Green. Nice play there by Demarcus Bishop. Second and 21. This is going to be a pitch to Akers, and Akers gets brought down by Charles Gordon. And now will be third and 15. This defense... Even though, you know, we have a big injury to one of our best players. This defense has enough depth as J.J. Watt gets there. Matthew Stafford goes down at the 7. Back-to-back as sacks. This time it's J.J. Watt getting a little bit more playing time as well with Chris Green out. Obviously want to keep him healthy and not giving him a ton of snaps. We want him healthy for the playoffs. And once again, the Rams will punt. And once again, we're going to have a great field position at the 42-yard line. The wind really affecting the Rams. They do not have a very good punter, obviously. This should be the last play of the first quarter. And Montgomery will gain maybe, maybe one. Third and six here into the second quarter. And this is nearly picked off. I thought I could get that a little little quicker, get that out a little quicker. But unfortunately, it was knocked away. And this will be 
a 55-yard field goal attempt with wind. So we'll see if we can make this. And it is no good. It was short. Seven mile an hour winds are really affecting kicks today. That was just short. Seven mile an hour winds are affecting kicks that much? Huh. All right. Well, the Rams get the ball at the 45 yard line. They have good field position and they have a chance to tie up this game as Matthew Stafford gets brought down again. Great coverage down the field. And you're not going to get, you know, five, six seconds to hold the ball. It's just not going to happen. This, this front four can get there quickly as Matthew Stafford has pressure again. And Rashawn Gary couldn't bring him down. Matthew Stafford finally throws the ball away. He's holding on to the ball a ton. A ton. And I actually got off. The linebacker there, but Gordon gets Akers out of bounds. Just check down. That really doesn't go anywhere. Fourth and 13. And our offense will get the ball again. First down from the 27-yard line. David Montgomery just had a nice run for our first down. And we'll get him the ball once again. But Aaron Donald chasing him down on the uh, running back screen there. And it's a loss of three. Aaron Donald's still really good. He's very good. Very good. Five years or four years into this thing. Darnell Mooney is open. And Mooney will be close to first down there. Now a third and a three. Six and a half minutes to go. Ramsey on Honeycutt once again. Probably won't look that way. Darnell Mooney has a catch underneath. Fields at 9 of 12 for 78 yards. Darnell Mooney, three catches for 20 yards so far. And now on first down, this is caught by Ben Stanford. That linebacker maybe would have had a chance at that play, but he was turned the other way. Ben Stanford with the nice catch, though. I'm going to have Honeycutt run a slant. And uh, we had him maybe for a second there. We'll get this ball to Tracy Hurst. Nice throw on the run by Justin Fields. And the offense moving fairly well here. Three catches, 36 yards for uh, Tracy Hurst. And Fields will check it down here to Darnell Mooney. Nice adjustment by Darnell Mooney to make sure he makes that catch. Third and two. Fields back to throw once again. Honeycutt's doubled. We have space with Fields. And Justin Fields will take it down to the 12 yard line. Four carries, 58 yards for Justin Fields. We really haven't done this all series run like this. Maybe except for year number one, but even then we didn't really do it that much. A huge change and Justin Fields will take off and run again. Another touchdown this season for Justin Fields. What is that? Four rushing touchdowns on the year? It's just the coverage downfield seems to be really good. And they're in man coverage a ton against us. And it's leaving up it's leaving just a ton of field space for for Justin Fields to take off and run. Oh, big hit. Isaiah Simmons. Oh, man. What a hit by Isaiah Simmons. That was absurd. Oh, I don't like this. I was going to run it with Fields. Don't love it. We'll snap it here. And uh, we might have had Honeycutt. We have Hurst and he can't hold on to it. Second and a goal. Looks like Jalen Ramsey is in the zone. And Fields back to throw. Has Mooney and it is knocked away. So I'm a little too late. 
So now third and a goal. Man, we really, I really want to take advantage of getting the ball here within the inside the five off of a turnover. We have Stanford, and it goes off of Stanford's helmet. <sighs> Coach wants us to kick the field goal, so that's what we'll do. We have a 21-7 lead. So we'll take the points, make it 24-7. Third and three now for the Rams. Just 2.24 to go, so if they run it... Oh, no, they're not going to run it. It's a quick throw, and it's to their tight end who breaks a couple of tackles and gets it down to the 41-yard line. I was going to say, we, we might want to call a timeout here and see if we can get the ball back. But the Rams convert the third down. And that takes us down to the two-minute warning. We are one of the best third down defenses in the league. And uh, unfortunately there, we, we allowed a first down. So first and 10 for the Rams and this is a comeback route to oh that is not Odell Beckham it looks like Odell <laughs> wearing number three but that is love not sure who that is be love okay not really sure first and 10 now at the 43 yard line Stafford another comeback route there and that's Ferkser again tight ends play really well against us that's that's our one of our biggest weaknesses defensively is covering tight ends that's for sure second and two I mean if you have a good tight end no matter what you're gonna struggle a minute to go and Stafford over to was that Ferkser again Zach Gordon couldn't wrap up there. Isaiah Simmons finally brought him down. And this is by far the best drive the Rams have had all day, lo all day long. So 55 seconds to go. And Stafford once again completes it to Love. Down to the 7-yard line. Clock winding down. 30 seconds to go. And Stafford back to throw once again. Pressure on Stafford is Demarcus Bishop again. Demarcus Bishop is having a game. He's really good. And the Rams will kick a field goal with 16 seconds to go on second down. And it is good. 24 10. So holding call just brought us back to second and 12. It was second and short, but a holding call on James Daniels brings it back. And we've got Stanford, and that's an inaccurate throw. Justin and Fields a little off today. We've I've seen way more inaccurate throws today than, than normal. So third and long here for Fields and the Bears. And going to have to escape. We have some open guys, but he went the wrong way. It's still complete. Tracy Hurst, go towards the sideline, man. Uh, it's a first down if he goes towards the sideline. Fourth and inches, and we'll punt. So first and 10 from the 50th. As the sun is going down and right in my eyes. And St Stafford will get it to Atwell. 14 of 19 for 120 yards for Matthew Stafford. And it's been a lot of short, quick throws here. These last couple of drives, that's really worked out well. And I thought maybe they're going to run it there. Nice tackle by Charles Gordon. But the Rams down into field goal range here at the 33-yard line. So first and 10. And Staff Stafford play action. And that is going to be caught by Cam Akers out of the backfield. Another second and four. And this time, it will be another play action. Ferkser again. And Curry with the tackle. Dang it, man. Down to the 20-yard line. Stafford and the Rams really 
figuring out our defense here, and that's going to be another catch by Ferkser. We just can't stop him. We can't cover him. Seven catches for 63 yards. We're not giving up a ton of yards, I guess, but he's just always open. Cam Akers tries to run it, and that goes nowhere. J.J. Watt, so good against the run. Nice to have him in and out of the lineup and making plays when he can. Stafford, inaccurate to Cam Akers, who might have had a touchdown there. It's going to be fourth and six. And the Rams will go ahead and kick a field goal down 14 with 4.41 to go in the third. It's a fake. No, it's a fake. And it's picked off. Greedy Williams picks it off. What were the Rams doing? Greedy Williams pick six. And instead of being down by 11, they're down by 20. Yikes. That's a that's a 10 point swing. Now a 21 a point lead, 31 to 10. With 427 to go in the second and the third quarter. What were the Rams thinking? Stafford just hit Love for a decent gain there. Gain of maybe 24 catches, 59 yards for Love. The Rams once again here in the red zone. And once again, that goes to Ferkser down to the six-yard line. Yeesh. Not um, not what you want to see. We gotta we gotta cover Ferkser. And again, he's open. That's gonna be a touchdown. The Rams answer and answer quickly to make it 31 to 17. They should have really just kicked the field goal. Ah, oh, man. What were they thinking? So into the fourth quarter, we have a first down here at the 44-yard line. And yeesh, a lot of pressure there. Rams doing a good job of containing. Justin Fields just 124 yards passing. Does have nearly 100 yards rushing. But not a, uh, not a big-time passing game for Justin Fields as the goal was 300 yards passing but probably not going to hit that I mean we are up 14 so not really too concerned as David Montgomery a nice run down to the 29 yard line 9 carries 31 yards 2 touchdowns for David Montgomery so 1st and 10 from the 29 yard line and play action and Honeycutt. Nice catch by Terry Honeycutt. Just beat Jalen Ramsey there. That's a that's a fun matchup. Three catches, 42 yards for Terry Honeycutt. And once again, it's Honeycutt over the middle. Down to the one yard line. Terry Honeycutt having a solid game. Now Fields back to throw. Oh, man, we had Honeycutt. Wasn't looking that way. We have him again. And Honeycutt, touchdown, Bears. Terry Honeycutt, his third receiving touchdown on the season. And he was a big time on that drive. They will review it. It is upheld, and it will be 38-17. Third and 10 for the Rams. Six minutes to go. And Stafford will overthrow that one. And it will now be a fourth and ten. The Rams are going for it. Might as well. Down 21 points. And Stafford will go deep. Challenging Caleb Farley who picks it off out of bounds. What does it matter? It's a turnover on downs with just under six minutes to go. And this thing is over got a third and five honeycutt's open we're gonna take that seam route nice throw nice catch by terry honeycutt feels 19 to 27 189 and terry honeycutt six for 82 and a touchdown 
his best game so far on the season as David Montgomery runs it up the middle for a gain of three. 12 carries, 39 yards rushing for David Montgomery. We will advance to, or not advance, but we will go up to 4-0 and on the year. I believe the Carolina Panthers are 4-0 as well. I believe I saw that in the ticker. So they're off to a very good start as David Montgomery is wide open. Makes a man miss. Makes another man miss into the end zone. Oh, David Montgomery. That was nasty. Oh, man. Look at this. Catch and run from David Montgomery. Makes two guys miss. Woo! That was... Let's look at a replay on, on, on that one. That was ridiculous. Like, look at this. One. Two. Woo! What a run by David Montgomery. And this thing's going to be 45 to 17. All right. We might have to adjust some sliders here. I mean, look, the Rams aren't a very good team, though. So, like, we I, we really haven't played that good of a team at all this year. So, I guess, I mean, we'll see. But we'll probably adjust sliders a little bit. 45-17 is the score. So, third and 11 here. Probably, possibly the final actual play here of this game. As we'll probably just run it down if they don't get as Robert Woods I believe that's Robert Woods got two feet in yep Robert Woods nice catch there and I believe Caleb Farley was cover was covering not good from our defense giving up a 30 and 11 like that and it's gonna be a run to acres and acres will have a first down down to the 18 yard line Kind of irritating just because it does hurt like our numbers, <laughs> I guess, but that's all right. Cam Akers down to the 11 yard line, 302 yards passing from Matthew Stafford. Just a lot of empty yards, only putting together really just 10 points offensively as Stafford will get that to Atwell out of bounds at the six yard line. And now a minute and five to go. First and goal for the Rams. And Stafford will check it down to Akers. And Akers out of bounds at the two-yard line. Would love to get a stop here and not give up a touchdown. Second and goal. And Stafford, back corner of the end zone, is caught. That was a nice throw. Nice catch by Atwell. They will review it, but I think he got two feet down. That was a nice catch. And it'll be 45-24. So that will do it. We win it 45-24. Matthew Stafford had a very good game. 32-44, 312 yards, and two touchdowns. But it was too little too late. Justin Fields, 20-28, 213 yards, and two touchdowns as well. No interceptions today. David Montgomery, 13 carries for 39 yards and two touchdowns. Fields, six carries and 92 yards and a touchdown. Herbert had 15 yards. Honeycutt, six catches for 82 yards and a touchdown. Darnell Mooney, five for 32. Hurst, five for 56. Two for 22 for Stanford and two for 21 and a touchdown for David Montgomery. Uh, defensively, Caleb Farley with seven tackles. Simmons with seven. Six for Roquan. Tacos for loss. Bishop with three. J.J. Watt with three. Roquan with three. Two for Gary. One for Clark and one for Simmons. They really couldn't run the ball. I mean, it was Roquan, Bishop, and Watt really shut down the run game. Sacks, Demarcus Bishop had three. One for Watt. We did have one interception. That's right. Creedy Williams had the pick on the uh, fake field goal attempt. <laughs> it was a pick six. Uh, pass deflections, two for Greedy. One for Alfonso Curry and one for Matthew Duvall. Force fumble as well for Isaiah Simmons. And uh, the one touchdown from Greedy Williams. So, a good game. Uh, a lot of garbage yards at the end, which is kind of irritating. But we'll take it. We win it 45-24.
So that will do it. Four and O oh, through uh, four weeks. We'll go ahead and look at QB1 check in here. We did not throw for 300 yards. Didn't need to. Um, but leader of the pack, Justin Fields, will have plus five medium deep throw accuracy for the next game. Imagine if we got the 300 yards. Uh, and then I think that's it, right? We did our scouting. We'll go ahead and advance to a week number five, where we play the 4-0 and o Buffalo Bills. Stefan Diggs, Josh Allen, the number six offense, averaging 29 points per game. They run the ball very well. And they have one of the best defenses. Passing yards is a, is a little bit high, but, I mean, they're probably blowing out teams. So, it's going to be it's gonna be a good matchup. It's going to be a really, really good matchup. They, they run the ball extremely well. Huh. And their defense, fourth in touchdowns allowed. Uh, eighth in takeaways. Fourth in red zone percentage. It's, it's going to be a really good game. It's going to be a, a really, really good game. A tough a tough game as well. Uh, as Demarcus Bishop has five sacks on the year. Justin Fields leads the league in passing. And Darnell Mooney leads the league in receiving. Caleb Farley with three interceptions. But, all right. Well, we'll see you guys in... Week 5 against the undefeated uh, Buffalo Bills. Battle of the Undefeateds. Uh, un yeah, Undefeateds. Uh, last year, we had the same thing, and we won. We beat the New Orleans Saints. So, what happens this year? Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And I'll see you guys in Week 5 against the Bills.